What's up Scorpio? Love forecast for you guys for what's coming in in the first two weeks of April. April 1st to the 15th. This is for my Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can keep up with me as I do. Also guys, I do offer personal readings and all the info for that is in the description box of the video. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Scorpio? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love. First half of April. Any love messages for Scorpio? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. First half of April. What can you tell my Scorpio? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It's coming in for them in the first half of April in the area of love. Okay, guys, feels good. Four of Wands, Hierophant card, Page of Wands, Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords, Scorpio. Okay, not bad, not bad. You have a new love opportunity on the table for you, okay? Scorpio, you're very much in your discernment at the moment, okay? I see that you're heading towards a new adventure. There's someone coming at you with something quite fresh and they want you for the long term. I do feel like, Scorpio, you are very much thinking about what's going to be right and practical, so you could be really considering an offer that's on the table. I do see like this person's really focused on traditional values, etc., and that could be exactly how you're feeling, all right? But like I said, with the Queen of Swords, this is you sort of being quite discerning about it. Um, the Queen of Swords means to me that you might have made a cut somewhere and you're now focused on maybe getting this new love opportunity. Um, something had you walking away. From something okay I feel like that's something new is on the table and fresh but you just walked away maybe from something that doesn't serve you and that could be why you're in this Queen of Swords energy right now Scorpio okay you don't want to take any more shit from anyone basically eight of cups and four of swords so it tells me that you're still kind of healing from something um, but like I said there is someone coming at you with the page of wands they're coming at you quite flirty and I think they're coming at you with um, a new adventure so the central cards are pretty good, Scorpio. Yeah, Hanged Man, okay. Page of Wands and Hanged Man. Page of Swords. Okay, Scorpio, so someone's definitely been eyeing you out, all right? They, they're seeing you as someone for the long term. They're coming in now flirty. It's like, I feel like you're already maybe connected to this person, but things have been on hold, okay? It's like they've been scoping you out, sort of thinking quite a lot, thinking and analyzing a situation. Maybe they weren't sure if you were available, but now they're coming in flirty and they're seeing you as the Four of Wands Hierophant, as someone that they could really commit to. Um, let me just see why the Hierophant? Why the Hierophant? Ah, Seven of Pentacles, okay. Hierophant and Seven of Pentacles. So this is someone, I guess, um, Scorpio, for a lot of you, you are connected to this person already because I'm seeing like there's a foundation between you and this person um, and they could have sort of been seeing, you know, waiting to see how things play out between the two of you, kind of watching, um, watching the connection and maybe they're trying to scope out whether or not you're available, as I said as well, because I do feel like you've recently had to walk away from something else. Um, and you know, they've kind of been eyeing you for this commitment. What else is here? Page of Cups, exactly. Eyeing you out for the right moment to come in with a love offer, Page of Cups. This is about new paths in love as well. So again, I think you're coming, you're, someone's coming at you with something fresh altogether. Oh my gosh, for the Two of Cups, coming at you with a love offer for a relationship, Scorpio. Okay, you are very weighed down, Ten of Wands, by the past. And like I said, I think you're still healing. I think that whatever you're walking away from, you felt like you were carrying a big burden. Um, but it's a 10 card, so you're in the process of releasing that. And the Page of Pentacles is someone coming at you again with an offer. All right, you have a lot of anxiety and you have a lot of fears coming up, Scorpio, okay, with the Moon card. This is a lot of anxiety to do with the stuff that's like very buried. It could be coming to the surface. Um, whatever's gone on with you and this person that you've had to leave behind, um, it's sort of created some fears for you, maybe some blockages. Um, with the moon cancer pisces energy with that moon card we've got taurus energy with the hierophant queen of swords yeah so swords energy uh libra gemini aquarius wands aries leo sag and waters you could be dealing with another water sign we have almost all the elements five of wands and the ten of nails okay a lot of inner conflict and turmoil around pain 
that you've experienced Scorpio, okay, 10 of nails. So you've definitely had to walk away from um, a situation or maybe a series of situations where there was a lot of pain. Um, that's why you're in Queen of Swords energy. You're very discerning. Five of Wands, like a lot of conflict, a lot of drama. Um, but again, you're in that sort of 10 energy where you're closing this out for new love. Okay, tell me about this new love. Ace of Cups. Yeah, it's going to surprise you, Scorpio, okay, with the Tower card. Ace of Cups and Tower. So something's coming in that's like really surprising and really different. As I said a few times, this is like something fresh, okay? Because you're clearing the energy, right? You're clearing out the old. Um, the Tower card is also that feeling like where you could feel like a lot of turmoil right now as you're sort of healing and releasing some of this stuff from the past of what you've just come out of. And I said that it's quite surprising and fresh and I got Ace of Wands flipped over, okay? So this is a new opportunity, a passion that's gonna shock and surprise you. Yes, and you're gonna feel victorious. Six of Wands, Scorpio, okay? So someone's really recognizing you. So maybe you're gonna be shocked because it's like someone that has been eyeing you out um, and you know, maybe you weren't, you're gonna be surprised. You're not gonna see this coming, you know what I'm saying? Six of Cups, this could be someone from your past, okay? Or someone from your childhood, or either way, this is a soulmate energy. So this is someone that's gonna feel like instantly familiar to you with the King of Cups is gonna come in very loving, okay? They're very much admiring you. Look at this King of Cups, he's like checking that cup out. And the Judgment card, this is you needing to make a decision to leave behind the past and drop the burdens to move ahead. Okay, um, this is your energy, Scorpio, judgment card. We have a lot of Scorpio energy, tower and judgment card. So this is a big awakening period for you. Um, maybe about like really aligning with something that feels good and leaving conflict and pain behind, um, releasing all your fears. Um, what's this person? How does this person um, feel about Scorpio right now? This person coming at Scorpio. Two of Pentacles, they could feel like you're juggling um, a number of options, right? And that's why I said to you that they're scoping you out to kind of see the right moment um, to you know, move ahead and move towards you because they are wanting to come in and communicate with you with that eight of wands. So maybe they're sort of waiting for that right moment. They're juggling, you're, they feel like you're juggling a number of options or maybe they're like weighing up <laughs> the options, you know, or kind of thinking about, um, like I said, yeah, maybe they've they've had maybe they've had a lot on their plate, and that's why they've been waiting for the right moment to move ahead towards you, or timing hasn't been right. But now they want to move like very quickly with Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is quick energy. Okay, um, let me get some psychic oracles. Psychic oracle, please, for Scorpio. Psychic oracle, please, for Scorpio. Ooh, intuition. Yeah, so you are very much in your discernment, Scorpio, as I said. So this is you very much in high priestess energy. Um, sussing things out, right? Like thinking a lot about what's going to be right for you, using your intuition to guide you. Shadow because of the moon, right? So the moon, this is all your subconscious stuff coming up in relation to the past or what you've just walked away from or left behind. So this is shadow stuff coming up. So don't let your fears cloud your intuition. Allow your intuition to guide you to make decisions about new opportunities. Um, but don't let your fear cloud you because there's a difference, guys. Because fulfillment of wishes, you have a wish fulfillment coming in. Um, oh my gosh, authority. Okay, so this is someone coming in that wants to put the work or the effort in with you. And this is also divine masculine energy, father and a husband figure. And I did say someone is really wanting to commit to you and give you something really serious. Okay, Aries energy, light. Guys, amazing. So you're coming out of the dark, that moon energy into the light for a new cycle of wish fulfillment, of happiness. Um, so yeah, let me just get you a romance angel. Romance angel, please, for Scorpio. Romance angel for Scorpio. Chemistry, ooh, see, I said new opportunity for passion. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Make the effort. Okay, so that's very much page of wands energy. This person's gonna make the effort. They're gonna move towards you. Um, and like I said, they're going to want to put the work or the effort in with, um, with the connection. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. What else? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so for some of you, that's also a factor. So some of this pain that you're carrying um, and some of the stuff you have to walk away from is connected to family. Maybe some of you have a family elsewhere with another person. Um, yeah, uh, or maybe there's some stuff from childhood and family that's affected your relationships. That's very shadow energy, right? So this is like 
a lot of the subconscious that's coming up so you could be having some revelations around some of the things you need to release in order to open up to love um, and that might be the effort you need to make right great love is worth taking the steps you've got to take so you could be feeling like there's some things you need to release so that you can actually open up to love um, and what else engagement guys your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment i said someone is coming in that wants to commit to you they want to make an effort and there's chemistry okay that's a good reading scorpio all right um i hope that it resonated and if so you can give me a like and a comment as i said and i will check in with you in two weeks time lots of love